Shalom everybody and welcome back to Religion Wing TV where my spiritual ears stay. Now guys, welcome to all my new subscribers. Wow, God is good. I'm glad you're here and I pray that you continue to watch me so that you can see there's a real connection here and real sincerity, okay? Because a lot of people, they start channels on YouTube for whatever reason and then find themselves going down the wrong road the wrong path hooking up with the wrong people but hopefully the connections we were making and have made is from a place of purity and a genuine heart okay so if you're new here please subscribe if you're old don't forget to subscribe like share and comment on this video because what I like to do every now and then guys I love to take one song and kind of shout out my supporters if you don't mind hopefully you guys don't mind that i'm a woman i'm a human being yes my name is religion wink tv but it's it represents people have been lied to spiritually about what their religious beliefs are especially the christians and the descendants of slavery so that's what this channel is really about just opening the eyes of white people black people my people your people just so we know what really happened in this world and who really oppressed who and how these people uh uh uh, uh that have their other people foot on their neck can come from up underneath that oppression and slavery and i just try to help people free up their minds so that they can fill it more with the spirit of god and the mind of christ and less of the negative, wicked, demonic stuff that goes on in the world. That does not mean I'm perfect. It just means I have a willing and obedient heart to say what thus saith the Lord. Or what I hear God say. Or what I think I've read in the Bible. Or what I think the Holy Spirit is speaking to me. Or when I read the red words in the Bible. What Christ has said to me. Like John 12 and 30. This voice is not for me, for my sakes, but it's for your sake. And I know my voice sounds raspy right now, and, and, and it's always been like that. I've always been told I have one of those operator voices, but about three years ago, the attack came with the sinuses and allergies and you know, water trying to build up in my mouth. And I'm like, wait a minute, because sometimes the most precious gift you have will come under attack so you can't use it. And a lot of you have been under attack in your gifts and talents and callings and don't know it. So this channel was started to encourage you to encourage you to find that talent and to invest it. Because to whom much is given, much is required. You know, and God wants to give you the power to get wealth. He already done that, but you have to receive the power. And sometimes because people have a lot of money, flashy cars, nice clothes, like a lot of the famous celebrity YouTubers you see on YouTube living in mansions and things like that. It's not from a place of godliness. The devil know how to bless people just as well as God does. And that's biblical, and that's all just common sense. If you got two gods out here fighting against each other since the beginning of time, once one god fell from the grace of the other, and that god will be Lucifer, fell into the earth, and from his natural habitat, go read the book of Jude, and it tell you the natural beast, they lost their natural habitat, right? They can no longer go back to heaven, so they try to stop, or go back to the presence of God. So I told you this is heaven for some of us on the earth. God says, as it is in heaven, on earth as it is in heaven. I'm going to make heaven here on the earth for me. That's why I always invite you guys to the kingdom of heaven via Religion Link TV. But um, yeah, they lost their natural habitat and they try to keep you from going back to the presence of God as well. So it doesn't matter what your race is, what your color is, what your creed is. There's an enemy against your soul when you choose to serve whatever God it is you serve. Because they don't want you to be enlightened with true wisdom. They want you to stay in darkness. These other gods out here that don't like the, the real God. The true God. The one God. Which I told you not to keep you here too long. 
But the Hebrew Israelites had Yahweh, the original God of the Bible. The Egyptians called their God Ra, similar to the God of the Bible. The Muslims called their God Allah, similar to the one in the Bible, okay? And then Jamaicans called their God in that region Jah. Similar to Yah, right? So, Yahweh. So, guys, there's a connection there. It doesn't matter which God you serve. When you try to serve the God that you choose to serve and live a better life and do better outside of wickedness and darkness, there's going to be an enemy after your soul trying to keep you where you are, where you were, and sometimes even worse off. So... You know, be mindful of that. So I asked God, you know, I got up, I did a couple videos about the giveaway today at 7 p.m., right? We're going to do a giveaway. Thank God, right? <laughs> but um, I um asked God, like, how, because it's not mundane over here. This is not the church channel where everything is, oh, Jesus love you. Praise the Lord. No, we get indignant over here sometimes. Some things make me... Not pissed off where I stay angry at the world and want to go kill up the libraries and the postal services and the schools. No. But it make me want to get on here and do a little rant every now and then. Like, how in the hell? <laughs> like I was going to do yesterday. What story did I hear about? Oh, my God. It was so many. Let me check my phone. I'll tell you. Hold on. It was a sto it was several stories, but the one that made me want to get on here and go indignant like the Lord. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, not only the little boy they got smacked by the lady, you know, the alleged uh the aunt, the babysitter there. It was something else that came up yesterday. I was like, oh, hell no. Not to mention Falsy and COVID. I mean, I could get on here and go through a, a gamut of content with you. But you have to show up and be willing. Guys, I can't find it. Something made me want to get on here and go ham yesterday. <laughs> I was like, oh, heck no. But that's what happened when you get new subscribers or you get new people look people i have not changed my spirit has been the same since i've been on these youtube streets i move differently since i've been on these youtube streets but god says you could live in an ungodly world being strategically godly okay a lot of people don't know that. Go read the book of Proverbs. Solomon was speaking real facts in that book. And I live by it. It's an ungodly world. If you think God is, the whole world is in his hands. Don't get me twisted. But if you think God is in control of what's going on with COVID and how people are behaving in this world today. You don't have discernment. To these other gods out here trying to destroy you as God's child. So the Lord said, wake up, you know, do your little giveaway videos. And then I'm sitting here and, and, and no doubt I tried to do an afternoon delight video for you guys. To let you know that one of my favorite songs was afternoon delight. Oh, afternoon delight. I'm going to get myself together, going to tell me right, uh, 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 delight, right? I can't, got, you know what, I ain't playing with y'all today. I have the video right here, if it wants to come up. Guys, what's up? It's your girl, Legion Wing TV. This is this and morning. And spiritual ear stack. Guys, I just wanted to share a little afternoon delight with you. Um, I am going to come live in the next hour or so and have a little afternoon delight session. That does not mean I'm coming on here to flirt with you, have sex with you. It just means let's get intimate, guys. I remember the <laughs> Starland vocal band when I was growing up. Listen. One of my favorite, if not the most favorite song back in that day. Pause. I tried to upload this. It said 57 minutes. I'm, so, I'm like, why for a four minute video? So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let it play out and let you hear a little bit of what I was doing this morning. Because I wanted to invite you guys to a little 
time of intimacy with me. Um, a little closeness, a little connection, engaging. Like, let's talk. Like, I don't just sit over here. Yes, I do. And run my damn mouth about the Lord. Oh, yes, I do. <laughs> but I also run my mouth about other stuff. But if you showed up, I'll give you a chance to talk. Now, if I don't disrespect you, don't come over here being rude and disrespectful to me. But some people just can't help themselves. <laughs> so it's up to us. See, the Bible say, God to help those who have their own, who help themselves. Some people can't help themselves. You got to help them along the way. So when they come in your life with that nonsense, you got to learn how to rebuke it and bind it. Or loose it, whichever you choose to do. Because God will do the same thing in heaven, right? And get rid of it. Let it go. I said on a video yesterday that pain only stays as long as you hold on to it. Let it go. Let the hurt go. I mean, you're only hurting yourself and causing more pain to yourself when you let these people keep abusing you. You have to get strong. That's why I love the word of God. Be of good courage, especially Joshua 1 and 9. First go to 1 and 8 because it says meditate on my book. Keep my law in your mouth. Seek to do all it says it do and then it may make you prosperous and then it may make you successful. And then he told Joshua right in the same same book, first chapter, verse 9. Be strong and of good courage. Why? Because Joshua had to go fight the battle of Jericho. And you have to fight a battle, but you don't want to fight. You've given up somewhere along the line like some of our ancestors did. That's why the, where, the world is the way it is today, people. And I just sit over here and try to make it, you know, as simple as I can, as simplistic as I can. But listen... And uh, if I have to take the song out, guys, because of copyright, I will. But like I said, I'm not monetized yet and or sponsored only of the Lord. So some videos I'll do with other people music in it, not being disrespectful, but it's... Like I'm about to do now, and I'm only going to let a few seconds of it play. I just want you guys to hear the beat of it. You know what I'm saying? It's nothing about being slick over here trying to get away with people content and stuff like that. Music speaks to my soul. And I want it to begin... I wanted to begin to speak to your soul. A lot of people tell you it's just the word of God. God used music in the Bible to run evil spirits away from date from Saul when Saul was trying to kill David. Imagine God put the evil spirits on Saul to kill David, and then when David was being thrown at with them javelins that Saul was pitching his way, right? The fiery darts of the enemy we got to withstand and uh, put on the whole armor of God up to withstand, right? Those fiery darts, those javelins coming your way. But David played a lyre, a string instrument, a harp of some sort, and I believe it was reggae he was playing. And that evil spirit went the hell away. Because <laughs> I know when I put on reggae, which I'm about to do in a minute, these evil spirits that try to hinder you, oppress you, oppress you procrastinate you, still kill and destroy you, will flee. God says if you submit yourself unto me in James, I think, 4 and 7, and resist the devil, he will flee. A lot of y'all won't submit yourselves to God. And then, once you do, you won't resist the devil. See, you could be submitted to God like a lot of Christians are, but they have not yet resisted the devil. That's why you have pastors like David E. Wilson out here eating cat, eating that cat cat, eating that kit cat. And I ain't talking about faux balls. <laughs> A candy on camera. You know what I'm saying? That's why you got all these pastors and preachers and teachers and all these so-called people in the church so demonic and wicked that the rest of the world is following their behavior. That's why I say God is not. God is on his throne and he can end it any day he wants. But God is not in control of what's going on. Your flesh, your lust is drawing you away. It has drawn people away. Let me just say. Entities 
of wickedness seated in high places in this world, that will never go away. That's biblical. But you don't have to join it. You don't have to side with it. You don't have to uh, 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 combat and contend it and worship it. You have a right to resist it. But that's what I know black people haven't done in this world. They won't resist the evil that's against them. Such as other races trying to tell us how to run our own lives, our own communities, our own children, our own livestock, what we eat, what we don't eat, what we put in our bodies and don't put in our bodies. There's a message behind everything I do with music. There's a message to you from me when I play music. I've done it on my channel before. Some got a strike not a strike on it where i my page was affected but the other person get monetization which i really don't care about that because if you guys watch my video i still let me just say this i do care about it i'm saying i let the person live i use their content i ain't mad that they're gonna get the money i'm grateful that they didn't strike my channel and the video could stay up and you can still watch the video and get the message. That's what I mean, okay? Get the view, you know what I'm saying? So that helps me out. But the message is there's a lot of songs that mean something. And if we came live every Saturday afternoon and did like an afternoon delight, right? I believe that... Um, kind of like we're going to do right now, guys. Because it is 1.30 East Coast time, almost 1.40. I do have a song up here waiting in the queue that I want you guys to uh, hear. I also want you to hear the song actually called Afternoon Delight and how I got this whole brilliant creative idea to come come to you and, and, and be cozy, be intimate, be uh, relatable, uh, uh, obtainable, reachable, you know what I'm saying? So it's like... Guys, I'm here. I'm not going nowhere. I mean, I've been on these YouTube streets long enough. Okay, so that's the music I got set up there. Let me go ahead and finish here. I believe that we could make a connection like these Excuse people me. did in this song. Um, let me see if I can think of a little bit how it go. I'm horrible, y'all. Once I get going, I remember the melodies and song. I mean, the songs and stuff. But you got to remember, my head is filled with a lot of songs uh, that I've written. And <laughs> by the grace of God, I'll earn enough revenue where I can get my songs on ASCAT, BMI. And other people, producers will be looking for music, for uh, lyrics, for their artists to sing. And uh, I can get a career going in just writing songs for people, y'all. Pretty good at it, okay? I just never have the, the music, the beat. But I have the melody, I write it out, I sing it out, and some of the songs I wrote for me, if I stay in a certain key, <laughs> I get through the whole song. But a lot of the songs I actually wrote for other people to sing. I have a song for Keisha Cole, Mary Mary. Um, I did songs based off of when Whitney Houston passed away, any other celebrity thereafter. Um, when the when Trump became damn president, um, I knew you guys needed a peace train to ride on. So I, I oh I oh I wanna ride that peace train. I thought it through and want you to ride oh ride along with me on the peace train. I thought it through and no. It's such a shame, Ellie and Saint stress on your brain. I can feel your pain. Yeah, I can feel your pain. Yeah. When um a Black Girls Rock campaign came out, I was like, Black Girls Rock. Black girl shock, where the earthquake and this aftershock, power shifts, now we're on top, so don't be shocked, when black girls rock. 
Thank God I am a black girl living in this crazy world. As a daughter, sister, teenager, one my mother, grandmother. I hold it all together by his light that shines within. And his love that's in my heart sets this black girl apart. Hey! Get with it, y'all. Get with it. I need somebody I can trust that has music. That want to send me some music. I can write to music. I can read sheet music a little bit. I could play a little bit of the keyboard to an extent. I know a little bit. Deep, deep, deep. Not, not really good at that. But I love music. I'm musically inclined. Um, <clears throat> I may be a little tone deaf. But I can still write songs. I always told you I'm not the singer, I'm the songwriter. I'm not the poet. I'm not a poet. I'm a woman who writes poetry. Put that shit out there and then I forget about it. It's like God moves me on to something else. So I am a satellite and a receiver for an abundance of information, creative information, quality information enhancing information and as i tell you christians you're supposed to be edifying encouraging uplifting exhorting exalting one another in the admonition of the lord not your own selfish greedy desires okay hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on Hold on, I'm trying to remember this song. It was so long ago, but it's a melody I stay with me in my heart. I'm working up an end for. Hold on. Hold on, hopefully. Hold on, it go through. So it goes on to say Something, something working up an appetite Rubbing sticks and stones together is a hmm, delight Sky rockets in flight Afternoon delight, afternoon delight, and I want this to be as intimate as it can, guys. I have water right now. I have a cousin. Shout out to Wendy. She got a mug. She walk with one of them silver traveling mugs. It be coffee in the morning, water after in the afternoon, and it be damn alcohol at night. <laughs> Appetite, rubbing sickness on it. When the soul delight, rubbing sticks and souls together. Hey, sky rocking in. Afternoon delight. All right, that's enough with that, y'all. So you get the picture of what I was trying to do. But this little, I'm going to tell you, you could probably see it right there. It says four minutes, guys. Let me see if I can get it over that little lock. Can you see the four minutes right there? Four minute and 50 second damn video going to take an hour. I said, why do that? Why not just come on with this and now introduce you to what I really want to introduce you to. And it's a song for kings and queens. It's written by a king named Warrior King. And he's singing to Empresses So Divine. And the song kind of goes... Empress so divine, ever looking fine. Girl, you know you mm -mm, make my love light shine. Ever looking sweet. Ever looking fine, girl. <laughs> so, one of my favorite Jamaican songs of all times. And I wanted to sub celebrate to you the new subscribers coming on. And the old ones, like, I really do appreciate you. This YouTube stuff is not hard. If you're not out here selling your soul along with other things, um, <laughs> that, uh, you know, hurt other people and tear other people down, you don't, you don't really make it in this kind of 
poo or ocean of piranhas. So you have to be very steadfast and very sure of who you are and what you really want to bring to these YouTube streets every time you come on these YouTube streets, okay? And that's personality. But you don't want it to be borderline personality disorder mixed with batshit crazy. <laughs> like most people you see on YouTube. I'm telling you, we got some crazy people in this world, y'all. And I, I, I mean, I have my craziness with me. Like I said, I went and bought $194 worth of nail polish. Now, if that ain't crazy, I don't know what it is. But have I doxed you? Have I came to your house wanting to kill you because of it? <laughs> Have I ran to anybody? Have I tried to take my own life because of it? You know what I'm saying? Like, no, people, come on. There was a method to my madness. But generally, when you see madness in this world, there's no real sound method to it because the god i serve says i don't give you a spirit of fear but power love and sound mind and the things we see in this world from covid to whatever is not of a sound mind okay so let me go ahead and let you hear a little bit of what i was feeling and i'll give you a backdrop again trying to talk to men and women um lavata discovered Okay, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. Trying to talk to men and women. Um, I wanted to find a song that spoke, of course, to us, the empresses, the women of the world, the holy grail, <laughs> the god of all gods in the earth, right? <laughs> if there was another god that could produce life like God, I'd say that they're they're gods, but they're out here cloning. We don't have to clone what God did. See, God breathed life into you through your nostrils, so you are a spiritual being with the breath of God in you living in a physical body. Nobody else can do that. When a woman gives birth, she's a spiritual being giving life into another through the placenta okay we can't breathe life into nobody like god but we damn sure can give life okay and a lot of other species in the world can't do that especially the men like this beautiful man here warrior king now i was trying to connect the two women men so emperor is so divine women you're an empress and you're so divine good morning god bless you afternoon delight Feel yourself a little bit today. And men, warrior king, that's a fighting king. That's a fighting man for the woman who's so empress and so divine. So with that being said, we're going to go ahead and turn this down because I don't want no commercial. I had it all set up and then I talked for damn near an hour. <laughs> and I got to go through what I go through. All right, so here we go. It's coming right up, guys. Okay, so just a little bit of it. You'll hear the melody. Check this out. Empress of the wine, ever looking fine. All right, so listen, guys, go listen to Warrior King, Empress of the Vine. It's an amazing song. It's just his feelings toward women, toward life, toward people, other human beings, other species, other than the male race, who seems to be so predominant in this world, right? And no, I'm not on here trying to seduce you guys with my night clothes. I actually fell asleep. I should say lounge clothes. I actually fell asleep in my clothes because I've been packing and working and ripping and running and I was tired yesterday. So I went to sleep on this little double seated lazy boy recliner kind of sofa comfy couch sofa like a two seater love seat recliner i got up this morning showered and i said i'm putting on my night clothes off well lounge clothes i am not going nowhere today doing anything today i may get online to look for a place other than that i'm gonna stay in the house and try to do youtube and especially the set uh giveaway at 7 p.m 
East Coast time here on this channel, $200 is going down today. Four people automatically are going to win $25, and then you other five people got to fight for the remaining $100. If you can answer any question or any song or name that tune or go run to somebody's video and tell me what's being said at what mark, this, that, and the third, tell me something about your favorite content creator because I know your favorite content creators. I know my colleagues here on YouTube. I know a little bit about them. They know a little bit about me. And I can ask you questions, you know, relative to what's going on on YouTube. Nothing in their personal lives because I really don't know anything but what's been brought to these two YouTube streets. And a lot of that cannot be believed, guys. Um, not that I'm saying people are lying when they bring their story to the forefront. But a lot of it has been for clout chasing, clicks, views, sympathy, payola, and all that other stuff. I mean, there's a few people I know on these YouTube streets that genuinely speak from the heart and tell their story just from a place of you learning and living versus you earning and giving. Oh damn! I said something there, right then, right, right, right then. That that was a word for somebody. And with that being said, you've been watching Religion Link TV. I hope you had an afternoon delight with me. It's been a little intimate. You guys let me talk. You let me sit on camera without judging me. And my little ten dollar, uh, yeah, it's a little nighty. It's a cameo, camisole dress nightgown. It's it's it's. I think it's cotton, though. It feels so nice, guys. In the matching robe. And like I said, I'm just going to chill. Later on today, when we do the giveaway, I may have company here. So, I, I'll i be dressed and presentable. But I feel I'm okay now. I hope you weren't offended by this video. Please subscribe to my channel down below. I'm looking for some music. I'm ready to start playing the rest of this song. Anyway, um, you guys have a great day. God bless you. And remember, you're watching Religion Wing TV and my spiritual ears. Stay. Peace. All right, I got to go, guys. You're always on my mind, though. You know that Jamaican song, always on my mind. Ooh. I remember having the pajama party. Y'all remember that? My channel got built on me. Really just sitting here talking about God. Listening to my reggae music. And just being real with y'all. And that's how it's going to continue to grow. Thank you.